afternoon, soul family. How goes it? I don't even know what day it is. I think it might be Tuesday. It doesn't feel like Tuesday. People are out in the water enjoying their summer vacation, which I haven't done. So I feel like I'm gonna pack up my car and head to the mountains. My friend Scott and I were supposed to go. He said he was in. We're kind of arguing over who, who to, whose car to take because we both want to go in the same vehicle. I feel like mine's more comfortable. He feels like his is. Of course, the guy's going to want to be in control of driving, right? Guy always wants to be in control of driving, but that's not how it works. Nope. So, all right, we're going to choose our items. And here, I'm going to shut this blind. I kind of want to see. So it's a bummer when I have to shut them, but I'll let you take a look at what we're choosing from. <clears throat> First of all, I want to give my friend a plug. This is my favorite incense in the entire world. It's made specially for Insight Gallery. Look how, the, how cute it is, incense. Big Vision Galleries, bigvisionarts.com in Sedona. I have a painting of, and it's funny because I was talking about it in my head before I began this. And I said, there's a picture of me on a, on a horse. And I thought, well, it is. It is, actually. It's one of my most precious things. And you know that that precious thing got bent? It's, it's been, I've been saving it, saving it, saving it, looking, waiting for the perfect frame, wanting it to not go up in my house until I have the perfect frame for it. Isn't that stupid? What have I said to you guys? Don't save your best stuff. And you know what? Now, I'll show it to you. I've tried to keep it safe. I, 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 want, I figured I'd, I wanted it to be in the house that I was supposed to stay in. But... God knows where that is, right? The way I freaking travel. So it's gotten beaten up. Look at this. I've had it turned upside down. I had it up when it was in, I was in Sedona because clearly that's where I wanted to be. And since I was removed from there, I didn't, I didn't put it back up. And now I'm going to have to go to an art store, maybe Aaron Brothers, and get a, um, an art eraser. Look at it. It's gotten bent. It's gotten bent. I'm so mad at myself. I'll get a different mat and cover it up. But this is me. This was me in Sedona, and it's become me more and more. <clears throat> Let's read it, shall we? I told you my grandmother was my horse, right? My grandmother was a horse. I'm a dragon in the Chinese New Year. The horse always represents forward movement. She called this night birth. I called it rebirth. This was my rebirth when I got to Sedona. I was trying to shut out all of the noise, right? All of the distractions and I was open and naked and vulnerable before spirit. I was connecting to the Red Hawks because I'm the messenger and Gabriel is the messenger. It's funny though, she said that that was, in her mind I guess, she figured it might have been an eagle, one was an eagle and one might have been a raven. <clears throat> to me it was the Red Hawk, it's already painted red. And at the time I thought, okay, we'll, we'll make it be a raven, right, we'll make it be a raven, but do you notice it's got white on it? So to me it's not, it's an osprey. It's my spiritual counterpart, the osprey. So there's the raven, which is flying higher than the osprey. <clears throat> at this time, at the time I, I was in Sedona, we were, I think, level. I don't know where we are now. But this horse is all about healing. And we're not racing anywhere. We're not racing anywhere. We're, we're chilling out. We're relaxing. We're tuning out the outside surroundings, the real world, this 3D world, and we're tapping in to our higher selves. Notice I say we, that's interesting. So I'm talking about me and my spiritual counterpart. I'm seeing a dragon in the sky. Can you guys see it right up there? You can see its tail, or maybe it's a lion. At the time, I thought there was a lion after me, and I still feel there is. There's fire burning behind. But this is about getting grounded. This is about, about self-love and healing. So I'm on this horse. I'm not going, doing this on my own. I'm being carried by my ancestors, by my grandmother, by the grandmother. I call the grandmother the grandmother of the land in Sedona. This is going to go up. I'm taking something down and I'm going to put it up where I can see it. It needs to be up. I mean, I've got Sandy's paintings up without being framed. I don't have Janice's painting up because I didn't want to ruin it because that one got bent and this one got bent. But you know what? 
It's time to take down some of the pictures that just are pictures and put up things that really matter. So if that means they go up with thumbtacks today, that's what they're going to be. They're going up. So here we have rebirth. We're constantly being rebirthed. You realize this, right? As we're awakening, constantly. As we go up another level, as we ascend, we are being re re reborn again and again. But there's a fire burning behind me. It's not in front of me, it's behind me. I'm not paying attention to the distractions. Whatever the fire is. I'm clearing my energy. Notice how dark my face is. That's the moon. I'm connecting to my moon wisdom, my goddess energy. You know what I like about this too? I, I have a, my, my picture, I'll show it to you guys. How can I do this without being totally indecent? My mermaid, can you see it? Let's see. If you look at my mermaid, somebody said her head's too big for her shoulders or too small. Her head's too small for her shoulders, but it's on purpose. Notice how small her head is compared to her body. Now you're thinking, oh, it's just because you're looking up. No, she does not, she's not got a huge opinion of herself. It's not all about her, right? It's about everything else. Don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head and don't let your head get too big for your shoulders. Remember where your gifts come from and remember who's leading you. So you're gonna choose today from the aloe vera, which is very healing. This is, oops, let me move this out of the way. These are our vulture feathers. So this is death, rebirth, transformation. The rock, this isn't just a rock, this is actually quartz. And the incense. So incense is also something you can use to, to clear energy. I wanted to lighten the energy, I wanted to clear it, and I wanted something sweet in here. The aloe vera is healing. If you get burned, aloe vera is good. It's good in your food. If you can get, when I went to make Lily's Holistic Food, aloe vera was one of the ingredients. I, I peeled the outside off because that's very toxic and put the flesh inside her smoothie, which was her, the food that she ate very healing. Any burns that you have, any sores, it's great for your skin. If you've got a pimple, anything. Death, rebirth, transformation. And clear quartz amplifies everything. This isn't clear, but it is crystal quartz. <clears throat> it's pure, it's white. <clears throat> it amplifies anything that it's with. And you can put a, a, an intention on it. This pot was given to me by my friend, my soulmate, John. When I asked for a soulmate when I was in Sedona, Spirit brought me John. When I asked for a soulmate here in California, just recently, they brought me back my friend Scott. Toth is what he has on here. He named all of his plants. He was a very spiritual guy. So there, there we go. And this is speaking the truth, right? Archangel Michael protection. So who do you want to be? Clearly, if you want to do, um, <clears throat> if you want to do by Zodiac, the incense will be clearly fire. The vulture feathers will be clearly air. The stone clear quartz will be water, and this will be earth, okay? So I'm moving with, I'm moving, I am moving, I am moving, I know I'm moving. Um, I just said to Scott this morning, it's too late, it's too late, it's time for me to go, it's time for me to pack my car and get to the hills, I'm done. I'm done here, and I don't want to wait. So, um, I feel a move coming on. I don't know where it's at. And it's funny because I chose four other things that we were going to work with today. And then I had to light my incense and I thought, no, I'll just keep it all in one spot. But I'm going to keep these four items here and they're going to go with each of the, each of the, um, signs or items that you choose from. So I'm going to choose the feathers because it's time for me to fly higher. And I'm gonna choose the aloe vera. I'm not choosing my fire, so I can't even remember who I said was who. Air is the, so that's my Gemini, my two-faced, right? 
two minds, a, a being of two minds, a paradox. It means you can switch really quickly from one to another. It means I can be queen of wands in one moment and the queen of swords in the next. So feathers were Gemini. Fire was the wand, I mean the, the burning sticks. And I said earth for the aloe, didn't I? Don't even remember. My mind has got a lot of things going through it right now. I heard in my dreams this morning, I'm not who you think you are. I'm not who you think I am. See past the illusion. If you want me to know who you are, then stop putting out magician signs. Step up and speak the truth, right? It's not my job to figure out who you are. So we're going to use four different decks for our messages. We're going to use the Divine Circus for one. We're going to use the Vampire deck for one. We're going to use the Enchanted Map for one. And we're going to use John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart for one. I think it's the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Yeah. <clears throat> they just fell out of my cabinet, so that's who we're using. I'm not going to go long today because I literally stayed in bed, kept my cats out. I did a long, long Reiki healing last night, long distance healing and private readings. And uh, <clears throat> I chose to stay in bed and work this morning and just not be disturbed. And I'm literally just now getting going with uh, my work. So, huh. Some things kind of got mixed up. They got mixed in. Coyotes are all over me this morning. I'm not, I'm not impressed. Okay. Um, so, each of you is getting, as I said, a messenger. And I think I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. One card and one animal messenger because <clears throat> it's important. The animal messengers are my most important and I got that message this morning from spirit again they literally told me pay attention to your animal messengers today just them don't listen to anyone else or anything else just them they don't mislead me and unfortunately sometimes the ones that you care about do that's because they're not awake they think they are but they're not it's probably why that osprey was flying lower than the red hawk Anybody that misleads you or tries to come from a place of inauthenticity, I don't care what reason it is, they're not awake. All right, so here we go. We're gonna use this entire setup. Ooh, I like this idea. I'm gonna put the crystals all in the dish to charge for us. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> there we go. Kitchen. Okay, so for the first sign, which will be, ah, uh, let's see. I gotta figure that out, don't I? Who did I name first? I named the fire sticks first, didn't I? Or did I name the, I don't care, I'll do it a different way. I'm going to do, <sighs> let me see. Who goes first, Sherry? The aloe goes first. And we're gonna take it in this order. Okay, so we're taking it backwards. So aloe goes first, whoever chose aloe. Your animal messenger is the woodpecker. <clears throat> now, the woodpecker has a lot of different messages. So before I give you what that message is, it depends on what the message is that you get from spirit. Let me just take it, and you know, I'm, I'm having a bit of a difficulty this morning because I worked so long in my bed that I didn't charge my phone. So I'm standing here I'm sitting here holding on to this with the charger going. And in all reality, I don't even know if it's charging because my cord's not working properly. Right? These things go constantly, so I don't even know if it's working. So if we get bumped off, we get bumped off. 
Um, okay. First message. How fun that we finally get a message that we haven't had for a while. I mean, at all. You guys haven't seen this one. So crown of the butterfly bambini. Baby. The crown of the baby. The baby is crowned with, with a butterfly. Four eyes. Two human eyes. Two spiritual eyes. I've been shown the baby in all of my dreams for such a long time. Notice here, Archangel, um, who is this? This is St. Christopher holding the baby on its back, right? In my dreams, the baby has been so many different people. I'm curious to see who it is now. And this person came to me pretending to be someone called Phoebe. And the butterfly was their symbol. And they had blue eyes. So three and one is four. Four means there are angels all around you. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. There is no reason for fear. I am getting double emphasis. That's funny, considering <clears throat> the butterfly eyes are double. And check it out. They're tiger's eyes. They're not blue eyes. They're tiger's eyes because they're above this one. So they're tiger's eyes. They're gold eyes, hazel brown eyes. And then these ones are blue. That's interesting. There's two people on top of this blue one. So there's interference right, right now in life. <clears throat> in certain, um, there feels like there's oppression. There feels like um, a charade that's being made to be put on, a facade to be put on. You see the beads hanging here. Um, this reminds me of Mardi Gras. Reminds me of uh, the birdcage, right? There's a show being put on here. This also reminds me of a geisha. The geisha, remember we were shown that when you see the geisha, that, that's when you know your friend is there. So this is a friend, these are not. So there's somebody pressing down on a friend, pushing down their, their control or their influence or forcing them to, to create a facade of a situation. The crown, that's a crown. It's, a, it's the crown that waves heavily on the head of this baby. Even their eyes are heavy. It causes them to, to, to fall asleep. It causes them to not be aware of what's going on. There's a lot of aggression. It might be cloaked under the word love, but it isn't. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of opulence. It's a lot of facade. It's a lot of inauthenticity. This baby needs to be carried away from there by spirit, by a wise person holding a staff that bears new growth, a staff that is able to find water, life-giving spiritual water, So when you look at the butterfly, it speaks about transformation, right? So right now, you look at this. It's pretty dramatic looking, right? This whole thing is pretty dramatic. And your intuition is, is urging you to make a dramatic transformation. That's what's going on. There's growth. Are you trying to pretend you aren't who you were? You're trying to hide your past, the things that you've done? Are you trying to ignore the mistakes that you've made? Or are you gonna wear your mistakes on your head and recognize these are my lessons? Notice this is one of the plants that I chose for myself, right? My eyes are blue. And this pressure and this outside interference by the, the coyotes the golden eyes, the tricksters, and the ones with the blue eyes, and this whole benevolent facade, it weighs down heavily on us, it causes us to fall asleep to what we're supposed to pay attention to. We have to remember that spirit's with us and push this away. We need to transform in the way that spirit wants us to transform. It's time to go through that death. As I said, we go through many deaths and we rebirths. This is the death of an old self. Again, another layer that we've come up to, to be reborn again. Let go of an old identity. Let your eyes not be heavy. Let your eyes, look how you're fighting to hold your eyes open. You shouldn't have to fight. I posted something this morning that goes along well with this. <clears throat> I posted a lot this morning. But uh, one of the things was, let me see, I gotta pull it up. Well, one thing is you're confined only by the walls you build yourself. So isn't it time you busted down those brick walls of illusion? The person said to me, I'm not who you think I am. See past the illusion. 
right? Well, I'm busting down the walls of illusion. I don't want to look at them. I'm busy. Waking up is not enough, right? You have to unite. You can't be awake and be separated. We have to come together as a united collective. And our mission is love. We might be too much for some people, but then those aren't our people, are they? Are they really our friends? Are they there to build us up? Because maybe your circle may not be in your corner. And sometimes, like I was shown here, people get angry when they get woken up, right? I don't wanna know. I don't wanna look. Dog gets angry when he's woken up. Drama doesn't just walk into your life. Either you create it or you invite it or you associate with it. So I don't want to associate with drama. That's my choice. Goddess, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and a dragon, a motherfucking fire-breathing dragon. Well, I am a dragon, so I don't need that. I call on myself. I transform to the next level. I take myself to shelters. What's a shelter for you? A place where you find peace. If you've got too much drama connected to your work or to the people that you're around, this is what I saw this morning. Check out this truck. This is why I so badly have always wanted a truck. This transforms the bed of your truck into a camper. Check that out. That's where you go. That's where I go. You go to all of this, right? <clears throat> like I said, I was in the best place when I was in Sedona. So we go to a shelter. We go to a shelter of our own choosing. I'm trying to find what I wanted to show you right now. Fate whispers to the warrior, you cannot withstand the storm. And the warrior whispers back, I am the storm. I posted this thing about the goddess this morning. To my wild, sweet woman, Sweet wild woman, I know why it hasn't worked out with anyone else. You don't need a man, but a goddamn warrior. You're the strength of the Turkish coffee at sunrise, darling, and don't pretend that you're not. You're one of the wild ones, and no matter how you tried to hide that fact, you can't be anything other than what you are, and that's okay. You're just as you're supposed to be, magnificently wild in all of your chaotic beauty. I know you've had your heart broken, and I know that you don't understand why. It always seems to never work out, <clears throat> but I finally figured it out. You don't need a man. You need a goddamn warrior. It doesn't matter if this warrior drives a Jeep or a shiny sports car, and it won't matter if he wears silk or cotton. It won't even matter if he works in a high rise or on the night shift. What is going to matter is that when it comes to taking bets on your heart, he's going to be high stakes all the way. This warrior of yours will crave your strength and your intensity. He's gonna look at you and not see something to tame, but something to just fucking admire. This warrior of yours won't be someone that you can manipulate or play with as you have in the past, so honey, don't even try. And trust me, you're gonna love him even more because of it. Because you aren't a woman, you're a goddamn goddess. Your fierceness is going to bring him to his knees every single time he looks into your gorgeous eyes. But the difference is, unlike the others, he isn't going to be scared off. No, this time you will have finally met your match because a simple man for you just won't do. You need someone to match the fire in your eyes with his own. Not only that, my little wild thing, but this warrior of yours is gonna to want to encourage the flames instead of, instead of trying to douse them with his own insecurity. Because of you, a warrior is the only man who will ever live in the wild with you. He may not have to slay any dragons to earn your love, but he would still walk through fire if it meant seeing that amazing smile that you hold in reserve for only him. This is the thing, free spirit, this warrior you seek, he's seeking you too. For he's had failed relationships that have left him wondering if maybe he wasn't meant, or maybe he was, meant to be alone for the rest of his journey. And you're going to change all of that for him. You both have been traveling along your separate journeys and have been doing an okay job at it. But that's about to change too. Because baby, when you and this warrior of yours meet and collide, it's going to be a love set on fire. Don't try to run this time. I know your heart has been broken before and that you're not used to things working out. But this time it's different. Give yourself time to see that. This warrior of yours needs to see that it's possible for someone to see all of his wild and still be there when he craves his freedom and ventures off into this world for a bit. You won't need to follow him. I love this part. You won't need to follow him just as he won't always follow you. Let yourself stay wild and when, 
even when all you want to do is curl up in that spot alongside of him and forget the rest of the world exists. Let yourself still wander naked under the full moon and drink moonshine. Notice I was naked under the full moon on my horse by myself. Venture off. Drink moonshine with the stars. Let yourself feel the pull of the wind in your heart and the sun toward a new journey because this warrior is going to love you because of your wild and he will want you to keep it. You'll be in this together now, this amazing, crazy, chaotic, wonderfully heartbreaking life because it takes a warrior to love a goddess and it takes a goddess to show a warrior what real love is. Goddess to show a warrior. So pack up your insecurities and your ideas about picket fences because that was never you anyway. You were born knowing that you were destined for more and now it's time for you to see what all of those dreams look like. There's no stopping a love like this, so promise you'll hold out just a little bit longer. Have a little bit of hope and always give love just one more try because I promise you, my sweet wild woman, that love you seek is seeking you as well. And somebody commented, oh, how funny. And they've, let me see, they didn't comment on this page because it's often they don't comment on this page. But my Instagram gets blown up by everybody. So on Instagram, where is it? Or maybe they deleted it. Somebody said, I'm looking for that Jeep. And I said, I'm not, not looking for a Jeep. I'm looking for a Tahoe. I'm looking for a truck for myself to pack up and go. <laughs> I don't need somebody. I'm, I'm not waiting around, right? This is what Spirit said. What, what are we waiting for? Don't go back to less just because you're too impatient to wait for the best. And our father shook his head the day he built me, but he had to smile. That's a fact. And I know my soul sisters out there were the same. Funny, I can't find what I wanted to show you. Run, Forrest, run. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain, the mountain with the ta tablets. And there's a ram running across, and there's the, the mountain. I think I put it up here. Yeah, how about this one? Looking for a lover that won't blow my cover. She's so hard to find. Yeah, well, you got to be undercover. You're looking at the wrong girl. Sorry. Done with the lies and manipulation. <clears throat> I can't find it. It might pop up when I'm going along here. Might come up. But this is what we're meant to do at this time. Blow past the illusion that we've been holding up in our own mind. Recognize that we're not normal like other people. Right? We're not undercover. We're not trying to cover ourselves. We, we, we're open. We're bold, we're bright, we're beautiful, we are who we are. We have the ability to be strong and flexible and bend without breaking. Our strength is the essence of who we are. Our bodies, our mind, our soul, everything that we have to go through, we just get stronger and stronger. That's our spiritual armor. And that's our anchor that keeps us rooted down to this planet, even though we are in our highest spiritual form. So, so Spirit wants us to, they want to ask ourselves, you ask yourself this question and Spirit asks us, are you willing to let go of what you've known, of who you've been without judging it? Except to understand that you're outgrowing your past and you are becoming your future. It's gonna take huge, huge, great courage and the flexibility to believe that there are more possibilities out there than what you've experienced up until this point. Because Spirit's running this show, right? We get to play. But spirits running the show. That's the only game I want to play is the game of life. I'm done playing the masquerades. Sometimes it's terrifying what we have to go through. But we have the ability to transform. It's not small. It's a big deal. It's life altering. And when we pass through the doors, we can't go back. We move forward. It's a challenge. It's a thrill. But it promises a lot for us. It's about growth. And yes, there's things that we have to grieve. I grieved this morning something that I thought I was going to carry with me when I realized it wasn't able to go with me. I watched a whale, a mother whale that's been carrying her baby, dead baby calf for 17 days and she finally let that calf go today. Can you imagine the loss she felt? You've been carrying that baby, a dead weight. They, they're not awake. The killer whale, the whale that was holding on to that calf. The whale says, honor your soul's path. And you're not going to honor your soul's path carrying a bunch of dead weight that's masquerading under a bunch of other shit. So this, this message for you, speaking about this transformation, even though 
painful as it is, you will not fail at this initiation. Initiation. You're gonna. This is a rebirth. This is a transformation we're moving through, and we're meant to do it. And to some other people, it might seem stupid or ridiculous, or they don't understand. But that doesn't matter, because think about it. You take a look at a at a caterpillar. If you look at a caterpillar walking along the ground, crawling along the ground, could you imagine that it's going to go into a cocoon, stay there all wrapped up in something that it makes itself and then emerge into a completely different creature? A completely different creature. It's not the same creature it was when it went in. It's a radical change. And that's what's pulling us forward and that's what's happening to us. So our dreams, don't dream small, dream huge, dramatic, colorful. Don't allow a facade to weigh you down. Allow yourself to come to like, a life. Come to like. Come to like yourself as you are. We have three sets of eyes here. We've got our eyes, we've got our higher selves eyes, and we've got spirit watching our back. We're ready to roll. Part these curtains. Move forward. You've got the ability to be wild and free. I like the word freedom. So trust in who we're becoming. Trust in the intelligence that we're getting from supernatural sources, from spirit, from where we came from, from our father. Rest and relax if you need to. That's what I'm, I'm gonna go out into the forest. I connect there. I hike around, I have fun, I relax, I rest. It's healing. Lay down, close your eyes, meditate. If you wanna do that today, we'll give you a little affirmation or a statement that you can make. Butterfly medicine, dreamer of impossible dreams. You teach me that no ending is ever as it seems. The ending is the beginning of a new life for me so I can fulfill my divine destiny. Give me courage, understanding and flexibility to embrace my transform, transformational divinity. What I have been and who I am yet to be are the creative manifestations of the one true me. I trust in the miracle of radical growth and the magic at work helping me transform into the wildest and most beautiful creature I can be. And then rest into that, relax into that and feel that move through your body. Feel yourself frying free, close your eyes. Imagine yourself transforming from that caterpillar that moves so slowly, but was so adept, so creative to create that cocoon, knowing the importance of going within, hibernating, listening, to your inner self. Allow now your eyes to get heavy with that. My eyes are closed right now as I talk to you. Whenever I channel, my eyes close. But that's what's happening. You're going inside, you're pulling in. And you're listening, not to that outside noise, like me on my horse, closing out the disturbances, the distractions. This internet is way too distracting for me. It's way too distracting. It gets in my way. Those are the coyotes getting in, bothering me, disturbing my, my, my precious sleep. My sleep where I'm, when, I'm, when I'm listening to spirit. I'm not a sleepwalker. This is my dream time. But I can dream when, my, when I'm awake. As long as I don't allow myself to be distracted by outside noises. The coyotes, the tricksters, they want you to be distracted so that you fall off your path and you don't stay focused and you don't continue to move forward into the light and you don't remember who you are. They, they, they cause confusion so that it weighs down upon you so that you feel burdened and heavy and sluggish and sleepy and, and you don't have the energy to move forward and you don't do your work and you don't expand. You're going to close that out. That's what I was doing in Sedona. You need to get to a place where you're with people like you who hold that vibration or you need to get away from everyone. If you don't have those people around you, then go away from everyone and go into nature and connect to spirit. Tell yourself it's safe for me to embrace who I'm becoming a creature so beautiful, wild, and free. That creative caterpillar that winds themselves up into their own silk, soft, perfect cocoon. Think about that. I think about 1,500 thread silk thread count sheets. That's my cocoon. My dream time is where I get messages. And so the voice said to me, I'm not who you think I am. See through the illusion. Let go of the illusion. Maybe that's my higher self telling me. You're not who you think you are. See through the illusion. You're much more powerful. Or maybe it's me telling you. 
I'm not who you think I am. See through the illusion because I'm busting down the walls of resistance. So now we look at the woodpecker and the woodpecker says, there's a new rhythm pecking out in your life at this time. There's an opportunity for you to bust free. There's an opportunity for you to do something amazing for yourself, for spirit and for the world. Spirit has been telling us, there's an opportunity coming in front of you. Some of you may not feel that you've got the, the funds to do it, but you will. Some of you may not feel you're ready for it, but you are. Pay attention. This opportunity is knocking on your door hard. It's time to breathe in a new life. Breathe in a new life into an old project. Have you let something go that's important? It's about using your creative vision right now in an effective way. And it's not about being quiet. This is about a woodpecker hammering through. Sometimes spirit has to hammer it to get the point across, right? Sometimes they have me come in gentle. Sometimes they have me come in hard with the messages that they are portraying. But right now, spirit is saying, keep hammering away. Whatever project that you have in mind, whatever it is that you're getting sleepy, whether you're losing your energy, you're losing your focus, other things are weighing you down, you're getting distracted, keep hammering away. You will be successful. You're reminded that more often than not, fewer words will have a greater impact. So be mindful of how you speak. Great change is happening right now. It could be the renewal, as I said, of a project. It could be a serendipitous meeting with somebody special. It's gonna mean something for you in your life. But whatever it is, however you see it, know that that door is open for you now and success is for the asking. At 36 minutes, we go to the rock, quartz crystal, clear quartz. I don't know who we said that was. I'll figure it out later. This is, uh, the rabbit is your totem messenger, and we'll talk about that in a second. Nurture, beautiful, mother nature. Mother Nature's calling us. Three, full circle completion. You're done with something in your world. It's time to move forward. We've been getting light worker. Get to work, you're procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. We've been getting the number nine. It's over, it's wrapping up. We've been getting the number 10, it's done. There's the door, open. Walk through it. So right now, what's been screaming to me? Nature, and I have procrastinated. So right now, she's holding up in her hand what's important to her. She's leaning in to the divine masculine. Now check this out. She's grounded. She's touching the earth, right? She's not flying too high. She knows how important it is to nurture herself. And the best place to get is outside. But it's also talking about what you take in. I'm seeing mint, fresh mint. When I was up in the, where was I? I was in Henry Cowell State Park. And I was walking along with my friend, Randall. Maybe that's where I'll go. Maybe I'll pack my own car and go up to see with Randall um, in Santa Cruz. We're walking through Henry Cowell State Park and I had my water and I thought, what is that plant right there? And I, and I rubbed my fingers on it and it was wild mint. So I, I, I pulled a little sprig of it out of the ground and it's growing in a pot on my porch. Wild mint in your water, it's amazing. It tastes good, it's good for your breath, it's healing. I'm looking at onions here. Onions to me represent protection. Onions, it's like, it's like um, you plant onions, it keeps away bugs, it keeps away irritants, it keeps away vampires. Garlic, this is garlic as well. These are garlic flowers, that's what it is, I'm sorry. Garlic to keep away the vampires, right? The energy vampires, put up a shield. Feel the earth, get your hands into soil. You need to nourish yourself right now. Nurture yourself, you need to care for yourself. You've probably been caring far too much for everyone else, just like I have. And it's time now to, to turn that around and put the focus back on you. Three means the ascended masters will help you. If you can't take some time off, if you feel that you can't, which you can, ask the ascended masters to help provide funds for your trip. For your retreat I'm going on a retreat and I'm not waiting for anyone if Scott says he can't go I'm going on my own at this time this is about relationships also this is a relationship deck so it's telling you that right now your relationships need to be nourished 
there's relationships that are failing so what do you need to do to nourish relationships first of all you need to be in a good place right there's self-healing around this one this one speaks her truth she's connected to spirit she's connected to the earth she's connected to the animals and nature but she recognizes the importance of taking care of herself she's no good to anyone else if she can't take care of herself so if there are ones that have been caring for you let them know that you appreciate them if there are ones that you have cared for allow them to tell you and, and praise you accept that praise this is right now telling you that relationships can take a good turn they can be taken to the next level can is the operative word it depends on what we do right faltering relationships can be revived but what needs to happen love care nurturing but right now the most important since there is one person sitting here is that you need to nurture yourself I know what I was gonna say to you the person said to me about the the wild woman right I need a Jeep and I said I need a Jeep or a truck or a Tahoe and the person said something else about something about the man no the person said I'm waiting that's what they said I'm waiting and I said I'm not waiting for anything or anyone and they're like what and I said let him catch up to me remember what it said you don't have to go finding your love you don't have to go chasing your love if that why if that wild man knows this goddess warrior he'll come after her so right now this is about taking care of myself taking a few minutes to connect all of us every day if you even have if you can take five minutes before you start your day to connect and say to spirit you know what like I did this morning I said monkey mind go away ego shut up I'm not listening to you I don't want any negative self-talk here there's nothing about what I can't do right this is all about everything I can do so take a few minutes to meditate you only need a few minutes do whatever you can to, to nourish your mind I've seen negative post after negative post after negative post after and I was crying and crying and crying last night all these sad things and I thought God I'm so over this I'm so over the negativity I just want to see positive energy there's enough bullshit and negative in the world we don't need to see any more of it so engage in activities that stimulate you in a creative happy positive way use your creativity today in some way paint draw write sing dance garden do something positive if your song comes on the radio and you don't like it it doesn't make you feel good turn it off that's what happened when we started the reading today first song came on she will be loved by maroon 5 I'm like you know what I don't want to hear a story about a guy who goes after his girlfriend's mom and has an affair because with her while her husband's I mean just no thanks I've had enough of this bullshit I turned it off I don't want anything negative so do something nourishing I got my chia water I, I grated my lemon right my, my whole fresh lemon it's fresh frozen lemon but the whole rind right got my chia seeds I went out yesterday got all the stuff that I ran out of ooh forgot my see I do it every morning that's because it's a reminder I forgot the mother right I forgot the mothering of, of this vinegar sometimes a little bit of vinegar is really helpful and really necessary right sometimes you want it real sweet but for this body cleanse that's not what it's called for you get a little bit of sweet and you get a little bit of vinegar which means reality it's called a dose of reality right I don't want people to tell me things I want to hear and I don't want spirit to use me and they're not gonna use me in that way see they don't they use me to give the messages that need to be heard and sometimes people don't like what they hear and that's too bad you don't have to listen this is for people who want to know the truth so what can you do today to take care of yourself to take care of your body in a healthy way what can you do that's really loving to your body this to me I love this I mean it, it it's grown into like I I gotta tell you it's like my favorite thing I found a couple things that I want to pick up at, at Aldi my favorite store now my favorite grocery store they got all these discount things 
there's this thing, it's called a boot bag, and it's like a, a big, like a box, but soft-sided box that you put in your trunk in the boot of your car, right? And you can put, it's all like the sides are all done so that you can uh, put perishables in there. And I need that just for this because this is my favorite treat. This is what I have. So for you, it might be a bubble bath, it might be tea, it might be a piece of chocolate, it might be taking a walk, connecting with nature, maybe putting your feet into the lake. Whatever you can do today that makes you feel good, that lifts your vibration, do that. Because when you lift your vibration like this, see how the energy emanates from her? That's what happens when we lift our vibration. Everyone feels it. The earth feels it. The, animal feel, the animals feel it. People feel it. It lifts our own vibration higher. When we even think about what we're doing, I feel good. I'm vibrating at a high frequency. I draw to me perfect people, places, circumstances, ideas, opportunities. It's a wealth of, of knowledge and abundance comes to me. I'm, I'm alert. I pay attention to my messengers. Do you know what I found yesterday? Actually, two days ago, and I, and I forgot to deal with it, so I'm going to deal with it now. I found a centipede. It was dry on the ground. But its message, whether it's dead or alive, it's, it's still a message for you. And I wondered, was it a centipede or was it a, um, a millipede? You know, I wasn't quite certain if it was a centipede or a millipede. So my, my, my hands right now are prickling. My left hand is prickling. So what is that telling me? Let me think of what I'm zeroing in on at this moment. My left hand, well, that's my heart hand. Oh, it's really prickling. See, sometimes it, it actually hurts. It's really trying to get my attention. Okay, so the centipede, they've got all those legs. They move very quickly. They're poisonous, you know, their bite is poisonous. So that, that centipede was dead. So whatever it was that was poison that was after me is dead, it's done. The bite, what's interesting is, <laughs> there's a legend about a centipede. The painful bite and quick movement that frightened a magnificent dragon. Isn't that interesting? But this centipede was dead. So this dragon is not frightened. Now, the positive messages for the centipede are speed, energy, quiet ferocity, healing, improved social life, reduction in negative energy. They have pearls of wisdom and they come to the person that they deliver their message to. So I was blessed by that centipede. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that a gorgeous message to have? Now you think about the rabbit. So now see, depending on what the message was, depends on what your message would be for rabbit. So you see this rabbit, you see the little shed out there and this rabbit's out in the, out in the garden. The rabbits are talking about fertility, right? They're symbols of the earth. They talk about potential. They talk about creativity. They take big leaps forward. They can be timid, but this is not about being timid. This is about not being fearful because rabbit people are fearful. They suffer from anxiety, often. Shyness, anxiety, fear. But we're not going to move towards that. We're going to move towards abundance and wealth and cleverness and creativity and spontaneity and fertility. That's what we prefer to look at because we're looking at the positive today, not the negative. The rabbits that freeze in fear and they bolt away when somebody runs up, right? They're small, they're gentle. People think that they don't have a lot of defenses of their own. But this one is out here with someone that loves nature and loves animals where they can relax. Like when I did my weekly reading when I was at the beach last week. The bunny was frightened when I first came up but then realized she's a friend. He came out, he was eating his food, he was walking around. Not at all. And you know, you think the bunny is frightened and the bunny is defenseless. That's not true. That big dog that was stalking that bunny, <laughs> like me, this coyote that's stalking me, the big dog that spots, the bunny sat there and you're thinking, and the dog's thinking, I'm gonna get closer, I'm gonna get closer. She doesn't see me, she doesn't see me. Yes, I do. What do you think, I'm stupid? What do you think these are? These are psychic antennae. I know that you're there, I don't need to bolt because you can't get anywhere near me. The second you get anywhere close to me, I'm, I'm gone like lightning. 
right? This is cleverness, spontaneity. I like that a lot. All right, at 49 minutes, we go to the feathers. Wait a minute, what did we do? We did the burning stick. We did the, you know what? Well, I'm gonna say the feathers because I don't know what the other one was. And then we'll do whatever the other one was last because I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Sorry. So what you have is the ladybug here. And the ladybug talks about wishes being fulfilled. So let's hold on and see what the message is from the vampire. Huh. Flaws, contradiction, mistake. Look at that unicorn, that incredible unicorn skull that she holds, that golden horn, psychic antennae. This one does too, but this monkey, this monkey get a hold of you? Did your monkey mind get a hold of yourself? What happened here? Flaws, mistakes, contradictions. She's holding on to that gold horn. So, somebody has killed that sacred animal. There's people that have hurt others, and they've hurt themselves as well. They have ignored their higher self. They've ignored their intuition. And right now, Spirit wants to ask you, what is it you've done wrong? What have you done wrong? Because you're beating yourself up. You've sinned, you've hurt other people, you, you feel you cannot be forgiven, you're consumed with guilt. Others have manipulated you. So you're, you're turning all of this around on yourself, right? Because that's your monkey mind talking. So recognize that it's wrong for you to assume that because you've made mistakes and you have hurt people and you've done things wrong, that you're worse than anyone else on this planet because we've all made mistakes and we've all done things wrong. The difference between the ones who have done things wrong in the world are the ones who have remorse for what they have done wrong and they take steps to remedy that and they choose to do better. So right now, Someone is telling you, either you or somebody else, and that could be the abusive part of yourself, your own monkey mind, that you're guilty, that you're wrong, that you cannot be forgiven. You will not be forgiven. So right now, Spirit's telling you, it's time for you to take this death and turn it into a rebirth of your own and recognize that, yes, I can be forgiven. I can forgive myself. I can learn from my mistakes. I can make amends. I can do better. That's my choice. I can take steps to correct my path. I slipped off my path, but I found my way back. And I might be not strong on my feet yet, but I can be. And the, again, the word is can. It's what you do with what you have. There's no good hurting yourself over and over again to prove how sorry you are. Beat yourself up again. And what is that doing except for keeping you down, keeping you dead, keeping you immovable? You're not helping the planet. You're not helping anyone else. You're just continuing the cycle of hurt and abuse, but now you're doing it to yourself. So do better, live better. Let the self-punishment go. Don't allow anyone else to beat you up and tell you that you're wrong. Go now. If you need to make amends with somebody, now's the time. Now's the time to do it. Spirit's telling you right now, if you don't, you're going against your own integrity. You've already gone against your own intuition. You've already ignored your gifts. Your soul is letting you know. And if you deny that inner voice, you will stay frozen, dead, like this, useless. So crowd out that voice and push down the path. And it's not an easy path. We said in the beginning, when I read that post about the wild woman, same thing for a man. It's not easy. Same thing with the first message. This is not simple what we have to do. The butterfly that transformed. Crowd out that voice that says you can't do it because yes, you can. So make amends. Take sock of where you've been. 
This is, a, this is about, this is Mercury retrograde. This is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to figure out where we've been, what we've done, and where, what we need to change, who we need to cut away from our lives, who we need to walk away from, what fences we need to mend, and what fences we need to put up, what walls we need to bust down, and sometimes those walls are our own walls. Stop protecting yourself from love and from healing and from growth, keeping yourself down with that monkey mind or the people around you that are telling you that you aren't able to do this because you can break through all of this. Anything else is you breaking the will against your own soul. So get back into harmony because right now clearly things are out of whack. The ladybug says, a wish of yours will be fulfilled. You count the numbers on the back, the numbers, the dots on the back of the ladybug and that will tell you how many wishes. There are two leaves and there are two dots. Two wishes, two very, very important wishes of yours at this time will be fulfilled. What are the two wishes? The most important things. Two wishes. The wish, one wish for me is to fly away. I would think to fly away from that, that symbolism that you're holding on to. Because the ladybug says, everything's okay. Don't worry. It's working out in a beautiful way. You're being told something different, either by yourself or by the people around you. That's because they want to maintain control. They want to keep you down because if you know the power that you have, then you move forward and then they have to do their own life for themselves. It's easy to keep yourself on a pedestal if you can keep other people thinking less of themselves. They don't want to get knocked off their pedestal. They don't want to do their work. If they see you doing your work, then that shows them what they need to do. So don't let the little things in your life take over the big picture. This is about seeing what spirit's trying to show you. This is about recognizing that these, these little wings open up and they can fly you away from whatever circumstance you're in. This is when wishes can be fulfilled and you can go higher. Worries begin to dissipate and happiness will come around. Let things flow. Wishes come. But they don't come unless you leave your worries behind. Don't be scared of your own truth. Protect it. And know that that's what Ladybug says is for your, you to honor. I like that. Very powerful messages today. I like, I like, I like a lot. The last message we have, and I don't know what, which one it's for. Sorry, guys. You'll have to remind me or figure it out yourself. You've got the sea turtle, and it's a peaceful sea turtle with my, my color on it, my soul color. So I'm in a Pisces moon, so I like this. Unexpected visitors in reverse. Hmm. Look at that bunny and that frog. It's like they're facing off, right? One transformation. Could this be the frog that turns into the prince? Interesting. This one's on a toadstool. Bunny's not looking at the frog. Bunny's looking down. And who's that one peeking in, that giant peeking in? Unexpected visitors in reverse. So if you had unexpected visitors upright, that would be surprises, detours, right? But unexpected visitors, bad news. It's only bad news when you resist accepting what it is. Sometimes what you want the most is kept away because it's not in the highest good for you or for anyone else. Sometimes you have a loss or a disappointment because what's coming in front of you is way better. And you can't understand it at this time. But right now, change is being forced upon you. It's kind of like bad weather stopping you from making a trip, and then, wow, you found out that if you'd gone there, there was a huge disaster and you would have been in the middle of it. This is about adapting to the shift in the conditions around you and recognizing that if you can't go where you think you're supposed to go, maybe the sky's gonna fall, right? But it'll be beautiful afterwards. Your path will be revealed very soon. But if you expect the unexpected, 
you're not going to be shocked. So, sea turtle. Now, you think of the sea turtle, any, any turtle or tortoise, they carry their home on their back, right? This one is able to swim through their emotional waters. They're connecting to their soul's path. They're also, <clears throat> silver is the color, silver is what we use to clarify. Silver cleans your water. Silver is a clarifying. So there's silver and the color of your soul. Swimming through your emotional waters, connecting, recognizing the metal. You're made of metal. You know, have you ever heard that? The guys, that person's worth their metal. They're strong. They're resilient. Turtle talks about walking a path of peace. This one clearly is, right? So if you want peace in your life, you want to stay away from chaos and drama. Isn't that funny? That sounded Canadian right then when I said that. Drama. It's interesting. I'm thinking of drama mean. You know when you take when you, drama mean when you're when you're on your emotional waters when you're seasick? That's funny that that came out. So you don't want to deal with this. You don't want to have seasickness. You want to be able to stay grounded. And that's what happens. When you call on the turtle symbolism, the, the power of, of the turtle, the wisdom of the turtle, its groundedness, its patience, the ability to stay grounded, even when there are disturbances or chaos around you. It's about being determined, about being persistent. It's about having emotional strength and understanding. They are the spirit of the water in our, in our emotions. So if this is upside down, things are upside down emotionally, you call upon the power of the turtle to help you. Find peace in your own home. It's about also trusting your own inner wisdom. I like the silver and the turquoise together. It's intuition. Talks about journeys, a journey of a long life. They live a very long time. I saw a giant turtle shown yesterday. It was it, it, it was on the shore. I don't know where it was. It was ridiculous. The thing looked like the size of a car. Ancient living souls. What's interesting about turtles? As they live in the ocean, but they also live in the in the forest, right? Ooh, check that out. The turtle in the forest is upside down. Interesting. Turtle talks to you about adapting to new surroundings and new environments, new terrains, new ideas. Helps you be comfortable in new, in new places. Clearly, comfortable in a place where things are going wrong. It speaks about serendipity and intuition protection think about the, the shell right go back into your shell to be so right now spirits keeping you safe by not allowing something that you wanted to come to fruition that's keeping you safe it what is it in your highest good so don't try and push through it understand that you need protection and it's about self-protection and possibly protection for the ones that you love whenever a turtle is threatened it goes in it retreats into its shell so right now the turtle is telling you that you need to do the same this is your armor against negative energy, toxic energy, harmful influences, painful memories. This isn't about hiding. This is about keeping away what you don't need. And that's how spirit has assisted you, by not allowing to have what happened, what you wanted or what you were hoping for, or stopping you from doing that. Spirit wants us to enjoy our, our life and have it be a long journey, a peaceful journey. So allow the turtle to show you serendipity, the things that are meant to happen. Happy accidents. If you need to go inside and meditate and allow this to sink in, do so. That's it, you guys. At one hour and four minutes, we are at a wrap. I know some are longer than others, but I just heard a cat crying again, and it's interesting. Remember I said that the other day, a cat was crying? Something w did happen. Something happened to someone connected to me. There was um, very a, a lot of upset. It was very upsetting. That's why I heard it, and I just heard it again right now. So there is somebody that needs to be in a place of safety, and what they were hoping for that fell apart was in their highest good. I just heard that cat cry again, and I'm literally looking at Lily, and she's completely passed out sleeping, and that's not Liger's sound. So it's, it's my higher self hearing that. 
So four and one, five. A significant change is occurring in your life. It's always for the better, even if you don't see that it is. This unexpected visitor was not something you wanted. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.